Organic chemistry for unit two is all about alcohols and halogen alkenes. So let's start with alcohols. First of all, if you are to turn alcohols into alkenes, then you would require concentrated sulfuric acid and the reaction is known as elimination. But you can always go in the opposite direction and turn alkenes into alcohols. This time the reaction is known as hydration. From your knowledge of unit one, you can always turn alk into alkenes by hydrogenation, but you can always go in the opposite direction by cracking reactions. Alkenes can be converted to halogen alkenes through free radical substitution, while alkenes can be converted to halogen by electrophilic addition. Electrophilic substitution is required to turn halogen alkenes to alcohols by substitution reactions. Depending on the type of halogen, you may require HCl, HBr, or Pi3 if you are to produce iodoalkanes. Halogenoalkanes can be converted to amines by using ammonia. They can also be converted to nitriles by using potassium cyanide. You can test for alcohols by using PCl5 and test the gas produced by using ammonia. That will produce white smoke. You can also test for alcohols by using sodium and it will produce an effervescence of hydrogen. Primary alcohols can be converted to aldehydes by fractional distillation. They can also be converted to carboxylic acid in a reflux condenser. Secondary alcohols can be converted to ketones, while tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized. I hope this was helpful and I shall see you soon.